Statist okay, Princess says, what are the statistics in finding a partner? That's a great question. So, I believe roughly today, in 1950, 20% of the population was single. And I believe in 2019, 55% of the population is single. Now, it doesn't include single and or in a relationship. I think most dysfunctional human beings don't, you can find a relationship. If you want to find a healthy, happy relationship, Here's the thing. If you don't have good interviewing skills, your likelihood of a healthy, happy relationship, one out of 10. I'm being blunt. I mean, your chances are very slim. Two out of 10 at best. If you do not ask better questions right from the get-go, okay? And it's it's very obvious today. Look, we have a divorce rate at 50%. And the other half of people that are married, half of them are miserable. So it's, a, it's roughly a 75% chance you are not going to find the right partner. But, you know, as a friend of mine, and by the way, and I think if you ask better questions, your odds increase tenfold, tenfold, if you know how to ask. By the way, that's my area of expertise. Check out the link to a free discovery call with me. That's what I teach you, how to ask better questions right from the get-go so you avoid the wrong person much sooner. But if some, you might all be saying, Jonathan, then what's the point? And, and you might say, love is a risk. Yeah, love is a risk. But to me, it's still the best game in town. You know why, folks? I love myself enough to know, I love myself enough to know that no matter what, the universe has my back. God, universe, spirit, everything is happening for me. When you operate from a place of spirituality, from a place of trust, you know that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many people you meet in your life. If you hold a vision for yourself that's one of divine love for oneself and a love for humanity, then you know what? You trust that whatever's going to happen now is going to happen. And guess what? We don't get it right this go around. We'll get it right the next go around. That's my, listen, I, I may sound woo-woo for some of you, but I still operate from that way. If you really want to read a great book, Read If the Buddha Dated, If the Buddha Dated. I love this book to throw out the stupid gender rhetoric and start dating from a heart center place. All of this material I'm giving you and even creating a bit of fear, it's because, hey, it's time to become an adult. The princess energy out there isn't going to work. Sitting back in your feminine energy and waiting to be claimed. Look at that rhetoric. Ain't, it ain't going to work. You have to lean into this shit because guess what? There is a lot of dysfunctionality out there. It's almost toxic. And it's time to remember that if you really want to have a great experience in life, that it starts with the relationship with yourself. Hold on a second. If, by the way, if you're not familiar with Esther Perel, she wrote a book called Mating in Captivity, Mating in Captivity. But she says, the quality of your life is bet predicated by the quality of your relationships. And it starts with the relationship with yourself. And I'm going to show you my coffee mug. Sometimes you forget you're awesome. And this is your reminder. Yeah, yeah. All right. I have time for one or two more questions. Let's go swimming. Donna says, oh my gosh, you make me laugh so much every time you drop a fucking F-bomb. There we go. All right, 